It is match week 31 championship roundup time after all the games have now finished. Huddersfield are our bottle jobs of the week. After being 2-0 up at half time, they found themselves 5-3 down at the end of the play. And QPR continue their improved run of form. Can they survive? Who knows? So we kick things off at Hillsborough now where Sheffield Wednesday beat Birmingham. I didn't think this was going to happen. You can see where I went really wrong there. But I had method to my madness. If you look at the stats down below, you can see that the possession was in favour of Birmingham. The shots were in favour of Birmingham. Even the shots on target were just about in favour of Birmingham. Everything was in favour of Birmingham. However, you can see where it went wrong. But with team, the total shots and the shots on target, that's where they lost the game for me. They weren't economical enough. They didn't make the most of their chances. And if you look at the goals in the game, Sheffield Wednesday, every time they scored, you know, there were chances that you'd expect to score. And there were a couple of chances, especially early on, where Birmingham were definitely the dominant side. They just couldn't convert chances, even hitting the target with chances. And that's where he lost the game for me today. So our early kickoff on Saturday saw Ipswich host West Brom. Now, if we look at the prediction, I was wrong with the scoreline, but right with the overall result. But should I have been? If we look at the stats, we can see that Ipswich were in control for a lot of this game. But West Brom took their chances. And even to the point where they were leading it until very late on when Omari Hutchinson equalised for the home side. On the game as a whole, I think West Brom will be disappointed with the way they played. But they'll take how clinical they were and also take a point. Whereas Ipswich, on the flip side of that, will be happy with how they overall played, but disappointed with their lack of clinicality and obviously the lack of the three points that they very much needed to get out of this sort of rot that they're in that's seen them drop out of the automatic promotion spots. So we move on to the first of our three o'clock Saturday kickoffs, where I predicted Blackburn to narrowly beat Stoke. As you can see, they beat them fairly comfortably in the end. If we look at the possession stats, Stoke were on top, but every other stat, Blackburn got the better of them and probably did deserve to win this game. They had more shots, more shots on target, and ultimately more goals. So another game now where we have got a wrong prediction. Cardiff versus Preston. I thought it was going to be a draw, and the result was 2-0 to Preston. And to be fair, they were very lucky to come away with this result. As you can see by the stats, they were dominated on every single front. But you cannot fault a team for converting their chances. And Cardiff have been made to rue their misses. And that was a very shocking defeat for Cardiff, especially at home in front of their own fans. They have expected themselves to do a lot better. But credit to Preston. They've gone there, done a job and won the game. On to Hull City versus Swansea now, where I thought I was being very generous to the Swans with my prediction, especially considering how well Hull have been doing this season. But Swansea turned up and they did a very good job. If you have a look at the stats, other than possession, it seems that Swansea did deserve to win. Obviously, an early goal helps things out. But Hull had a lot of wasted possession. We didn't create much, whereas when Swansea had it, they had a purpose. And this is probably why they ended up with all three points today. Hull will need to bounce back if they want to stay in that playoff places. Well, we move on to my first correct prediction. I thought that Leeds would win 3-0 against Rotherham, and they went and did that. And to be fair, it was probably deserved. Perhaps Rotherham could feel like they could have got a goal in this game, but Leeds will no doubt be the better side. And with more possession, more shots, more shots on target, it's clear to see that that Ellen Road crowd definitely helped them, and it's helped them not lose a game there this season. Leeds, if they keep this up, they could be in that automatic promotion spot very, very soon. So, as you can see, Middlesbrough were the better side in this game, but they couldn't make their chances count. They had a lot more shots than Bristol City, but less on target. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you have 70% of the possession. If you do nothing with it, you're not going to win football matches. Bristol City were much more efficient with getting the ball from back to front a lot quicker and making more use of their possession. And that is why they won this game in the end. Over to Southampton versus Huddersfield now, where the stats would suggest that Southampton were the better side. And I predicted them to win by that two goal margin. But obviously after a first few minutes, Huddersfield would have fancied their chances, especially going into the break leading. They should have felt like they would have uh, at least got something out of the game and to collapse like they did in a disappointing fashion. Wouldn't sit well with them. They even went back into lead after conceding those two goals just to collapse and in the end get pretty much smashed. And I think that they have a bit of fight and it's stuff like that that will cost them this season if they continue to perform on a similar level. As for Southampton, they've kept their running going and they are heading towards that automatic promotion. Now, as you can see, this was the first time I've ever predicted QPR to win a game of football and they nearly did it to be fair. They are turning their season around and if they keep going like this, they could 
go on, get out of the relegation and stay in the championship for another year. Now, if we look at the stats, a draw is probably the fair result. Obviously, Norwich slightly edged them on the possession, but QPR edged them on total shots. So, I think it's a 50-50 game, and a draw is probably the correct outcome. And I think QPR will be the happier of the two sides. Norwich really need to have a look at themselves this season as they've been really, really poor. Something has got to change very, very soon or at least before the next campaign. Over to the Stadium of Light now where after an early scare by Plymouth, Sunderland got their acts together and my prediction wasn't far off. Plymouth just needed to score another goal. Uh, but if we look at the stats, it was probably a deserved win for Sunderland and they deserved to win comfortably. Have more possession, more shots, more shots on target. It's clear to see that after Plymouth got that early goal, they just tried to sit in and hold out. But Sunderland went straight through that and uh, got a well-earned three points and hopefully they can take some momentum from that and try and make that playoff push once again. On to Watford versus Leicester now, where I thought Leicester were going to really dominate this game. And to be fair, I think Watford can feel a little bit of grief because despite not having as much of the ball, they create a lot of chances, just couldn't put them away. Whereas Leicester were much more clinical and got the three points. I think from their point of view, it was a poor performance, but they battled hard and got the three points. Watford can take a lot of confidence from this game as they've managed to really fight against a team that is probably going to either break the record for the championship, but definitely get into the Premier League next season. After leading for a large portion of the game, Mill can feel slightly hard done by here, but as soon as that penalty was conceded, you could see a second one was going to follow, and it followed fairly quickly. Mill just didn't wake up again, didn't react quick enough. Coventry went straight for it again, and now they find themselves in a playoff spot, and credit to them. They were dominant for all game. They were knocking on the door. It took them a while. But they kept going, kept going, and they got their rewards in the end. Three points to them, probably deserved, and they can move on again on this good form that they are on. That rounds this video up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.